Good morning, friends. Welcome to another baby toddler story time here at Grand Island Public Library. We have some more familiar songs for you and a few new ones today and a couple of stories. So let's get started with our welcome song with sign language. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. We're also gonna sing our wake up feet song. We're gonna wake up our feet, our hands, and let's do our elbows today. That'll be a fun new one to try. All right, wake up feet, wake up feet, wake up feet, and wiggle, 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 wake up feet. Wake up feet, wake up and wiggle in the morning. Wake up hands, wake up hands, wake up hands and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up hands, wake up hands, wake up and wiggle in the morning. Wake up elbows, wake up elbows, wake up elbows and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up elbows, wake up elbows, Wake up and wiggle in the morning. Great job, everyone. Okay, here's another song that I think we did a couple of weeks ago. That's more of a rhyme. It's called Here is the Beehive. So you're gonna hold up one fist. Here is the beehive. But where are the bees? Hidden in a way where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them. Come out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. They're, They're alive! <laughs> this is a new song that we haven't done yet this summer. It's called Hug Your Bear. So if you have a little teddy bear at home or um, parents or grandparents, caregivers, you can pretend that your baby or toddler is your teddy bear. We're gonna hug our bear. It goes to the tune of row, row, row your boat. Hug, hug, hug your bear. Squeeze him very tight. Hold him high and help him fly. Then hug with all your might. Let's do it one more time. Hug, hug, hug your bear. Squeeze him very tight. Hold him high and help him fly. Then hug with all your might. Yay, that one's so fun. Okay, we're going to get ready for a story. So we're going to sing our My Two Hands song to help us quiet down and sit and listen for the story. My two hands go clap, clap, clap. My two feet go tap, tap, tap. My two hands go thump, thump, thump. My two feet go jump, jump, jump. My one body turns around and it quietly sits down. Very good. I think we're all quiet and ready for a story. So we have a flannel board story for you today. This is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. And maybe you've heard it before, but we're going to tell our own version here with the flannel board. So one day there was a little girl named Goldilocks and she was walking through the woods and she came along a little house and she decided to go inside because she was kind of hungry and tired and she needed a place to rest. So she tried to knock on the door, but nobody answered. And she was so tired and so hungry that she decided to just go in the house. Would you ever do that? Just walk in somebody's house? I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. But Goldilocks made a not very good decision that day. and She went inside. When she got inside, she saw that there were three bowls of delicious looking porridge on the table. She was so hungry, so she decided to try some. First, she tried this big bowl, but it was way too hot for her to eat. So then she tried the medium sized bowl, but it was really cold and she didn't like that either. So she tried the tiniest bowl and it was just right. So she ate that all up. 
that she thought she might take a little rest on a chair because these chairs looked kind of nice over here. So first she tried to sit on this big chair. It was way too hard to sit on and it hurt. So she decided to try the medium sized chair. That chair was way too soft and she just sunk right into it. So she thought she'd try the littlest chair. And for a second it felt really comfy and then all of a sudden it broke. Oh no, she was too big to sit on it and she broke the leg. After that, Goldilocks felt really tired and she wanted to take a nap. So she found the upstairs of the little house and she went upstairs and found a bed to take a nap in. A little bit later, the family that lives in the house, the three bears, they came home from a walk and they could tell Someone has been eating our porridge. Papa Bear said that someone tried to eat his. And Mama Bear says someone tried to eat my porridge. And Baby Bear says somebody ate my porridge all up. There's nothing left. They started walking through the house and they're wondering who's been in their house. They go over to their chairs and they can tell somebody's been sitting in these chairs because Baby Bear's chair is broken. Just then Goldilocks woke up from all the noise that the bears were making. And she peered down the top of the stairs and saw that the three bears were home. She had to get out of the house somehow, so she started creeping down the stairs, but the bears saw her and they said, why have you been in our house eating our porridge and breaking our chairs? Well, Goldilocks got really scared. She thought the bears might eat her. So she ran away out the door and she ran home. That's the end of the story. And Papa Bear is gonna have to figure out how to fix that chair or maybe Mama Bear knows how to. So we have see the, the little bunny sleeping. Laura, do you want to be the sleeping bunny again? I'll be the sleeping bunny. Okay, and all of you at home can be sleeping bunnies. We'll start out like this. See the little bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. Come and let us gently wake them with a merry tune. Oh, how still are they ill? Wake up soon. Hop little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. 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 Great job, everyone. And now we're going to sing Peekaboo, I See You. And this goes to the tune of Farrah Jocka. And grown ups out there, you can lay your baby down, or if they're bigger, they can sit up, or someone can hold them, and you can do these actions to their face. Right. Peek-a-boo, peek-a-boo. I see you, I see you. I see your button nose, I see your tiny toes. I see you, peek-a-boo. Right, it's time to say goodbye, friends. So we're gonna sing our goodbye song with our sign language. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, everybody. Have a great day.